Welcome back YouTube, you have Ahmed again from In-Depth Tech Reviews and in today's video I'm gonna share with you three new changes for the Google Camera app that showed up in version 6.3 that has been released today. Keep in mind that those three changes might only be available for Android 10, also known as Android Q. And I have here my Pixel 3 XL with Android 10 beta number 6, which I'm going to use to show you those three changes. But before getting started, let's make sure you subscribe, hit the bell icon to get notified every time I post a new video. So let's jump in. The first change I noticed is in how you trigger Google Lens within the camera app. So let's say that you have a product that you want to know more information about. I'm going to use here my Microsoft Arc mouse as an example. And when I point the camera towards the mouse and the tap and hold on the viewfinder, Google Lens will be launched automatically, giving me more information about this product. It also works really well with business cards. So I have here a business card and when I tap and hold on the viewfinder again, Google Lens will identify the text and would, will allow me to do certain actions or I can also copy the text if I want to. Previously to do the same thing, you had to go to more first and then tap on Lens and Google Lens will be launched to do the same thing. So it's now easier and saving you a couple of steps. Another small visual change is related to the top menu bar of the camera app. We now have only three icons instead of four. Previously, we used to have the icon for changing the white balance. So it's now removed and you only have the timer, the motion and the flash. Another small visual change related to the top menu bar. It should be transparent instead of a solid color. However, I didn't get this change. Uh, I tried to clear the cache, uninstalled the camera app and reinstalled it again and still no joy. However, let me show it to you. I have an article online here showing the top menu bar should be transparent in version 6.3. So let me know in the comments if you are facing the same issue like I do. I'm using the latest beta for Android 10 which should be compatible with this version of Google camera. Next is a very small change if you are using the front camera and you want to use the flash of the front camera it's now called illumination. So as you see here it's no longer called the flash it's called illumination and it works exactly the same as before it's just a matter of changing the name. That's pretty much it for today. Those are the new changes for the Google Camera app version 6.3 on Android 10 beta number 6. So please let me know in the comments what do you think about those changes and if you like my video please hit the thumbs up and subscribe for more videos. Thank you for watching.